Pupils who are disadvantaged are rightly at the heart of Ofsted's education inspection framework. We know that the educational achievement of pupils from disadvantaged backgrounds is typically lower than their peers. We also know that disadvantage has a big influence on pupils' life chances. Pupils from disadvantaged backgrounds are more likely to be neat, not in education, employment or training, are more likely to be involved with the youth justice system and are at higher risk of ending up in poverty as adults than their peers. It is for these reasons that Ofsted places a spotlight on this group of pupils. During inspections, we take a rounded view of the quality of education that a school provides to all its pupils, and this includes the most disadvantaged. Pupils with special educational needs and or disabilities are included in Ofsted's definition of disadvantaged. It also includes pupils who meet the criteria for the school to receive pupil premium funding. Pupils claiming free school meals at any point in the last six years, children looked after, and or children who left care through adoption or another formal route. In addition, the term disadvantaged includes children in need of help and protection, receiving statutory local authority support from a social worker. Inspectors will gather evidence about how effectively pupil premium and catch-up funding are used. Inspectors will want to see that there is a high academic, vocational or technical ambition for all pupils and that the school does not offer disadvantaged pupils a reduced curriculum. Inspectors will explore how well the school ensures that disadvantaged pupils acquire the knowledge and cultural capital they need to succeed in life and how well they are prepared for the next stage of their education and their adult lives.